It's American Eagle, too. Yeah. Another American Eagle. This one is a ERJ, not a CRJ. But they're close enough, I guess. Close enough for Jeff to get him confused all the time. That's also close enough. I can just faintly hear it. Gonna go behind the tree line of doom soon. The ceiling of doom. The roof of doom. Here comes another ERJ. Where will it be? There it is behind us. Not too far behind us though. Far enough where I can't see it, but you know. No, there's no way. Yeah, Southwest, Max. It's going away now. Behind the fast paced tree line of doom. And there's nothing on the horizon. Oh, it's windy and we have a CRJ 200 coming and going. Very wobbly there. And a 717 with the exact opposite nose up attitude. And kids playing soccer. Boy, I couldn't get any more spring than this. Here comes the Southwest stub. I'm gonna let it vanish with the tree line of doom. comes an American A319 throttle up throttle down would there be any wobbles not so far doing good so far yeah he did good little flare little bit of wing dip there and as it goes away across the tree line of doom secondary tree line of doom second layer of tree line of doom Second layer of doom. And an A320 over there. For Pete's sake. I just got a Delta Bella though, so it's worth it. 717? Maybe a 717 2PT, a Bravo Delta. Or as us around this region of the United States would call it, Bravo Dicks. Yeah, but I was, I was just digging around in the trunk to get this stuff. Every single time, the last like three jets that have come, I've been trying to get something out of the trunk. And I keep on having to come out because the jets just don't want me to. When I'm out here, there's nothing. When I go into the car, all of a sudden there's a billion jets. There we go, already. I didn't even have time to explain what I was doing. Jeff, can you believe this madness? I can't even, I can't even get through explaining how whenever I go in the trunk, there's a jet. But whenever I'm out here, there's no jets and there's already another jet coming. This one's an ERJ. I don't know if it's quite worth filming. At least as worth filming. Yeah, they're on the roll. Ah, my tablet's getting blown out of my hands. United Express, ERJ. I'll let it go. Yeah. Can we get a break in the action, please? I need to... What is that? Is that a... Oh, that's a citation over there. I'm gonna try once again, though. Did quite a big wobble, or wing dip. For a guy here. Unfortunately, I was not interested in filming A321 today. Should get one back, though. It's a spirit! A320-232, if you want to be specific, like me. Very fast, very uh, quick. Rather. And the jets are coming back after like a 10 minute lull. There was a prime air over there that I couldn't film because, well, I didn't know it was going to be a prime air because I can't see over there until it's already basically gone. Can still shake around a little. 
little wobbly. Not enough to. It tricked me. I thought it was an A330 through the trees. But no, it's a 757. The way it goes behind the... Uh, the pine of doom. Yeah. Do it again. Come on, I gotta... There was an A330 over there. was an A330 over there. Not anymore. Here it comes. Throttled up a little bit. Can we please get a go around? A321, get back on the run with me. Oh, crap. There's another jet on the other side I can avert my attention to. Somewhat. 737-900 or Jeff if you want me to be specific 737-932ER <laughs> no, It's landing on the it's landing on this runway wait it's landing on the wrong it's landing on a different runway because the other jets still on there Oh no it's no it was going to maybe it'll go around then No it's just way up in the air No it would <coughs> it it is Look! What are you doing? It's good. No, there's no way it's still gonna make it. There's no way. I heard a throttle up. That was the closest we've gotten so far. Wow. I'll keep my tack on that. It was. It was. Offset though too. It was over here, and when it turned back to the right, so I thought it was actually going to land on nine left over here, which is the takeoff run. Which they do that sometimes. So land on the inboard runway when there's still a jet on the runway. So I'm going to keep my tack on that one. I said I'm going to check over there and see if I see it again. Oh yeah, it's it's an S turn, I think. Well, it was at least until that happened, <laughs> until it uh got straightened out. Man, I didn't really get to get that, but... Well, uh, first it was nose down, then it was left, right. Now it's on center again. Thank you, A321, for the show. Meanwhile, in the lowlands, where absolutely nothing has happened for the last 20 minutes. Just by the top of the tail. No, it's A321. Okay, there's another A321 over here. Another American, too. I've seen a lot of those today, more, more than usual. They're not usually this frequent. So that's fortunate for us. Unfortunately, nothing will continue to happen over here because there's something's happening over there now. Again. Here goes Sal oh, Wester. Ah. That's a CRJ200. Not a 717. But it's still something. Little wobbles on departure. Oh, that thing's so teeny. Excuse me. <laughs> Here comes the Southwest. Here come cars too. It's taking off too early. No, that's. I was not. It's a stub, a stub max, or a, a stub ER. Finally, A321, Delta Belly, because all, all of them have it, I still don't care. Well, I still like 